What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Bowie here. Just about to play some Armored Core. I don't care none about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, this video is a little bit different for me. Because I'm not necessarily recording this video on behalf of myself. I'm recording it on behalf of new players. And specifically, there's this new player that I saw on YouTube by the name of Young Crow, <coughs> who is playing this game seemingly as a new player. You know, I was a new player to the series. This is my very first Armored Core game. And, uh, you know, I didn't know shit. I knew less than shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything I learned was gained through hard knocks. You know what I'm saying? Now, why should anybody listen to me? Well, I went from being a completely new player to doing this. So I think I can offer some insights. At least that's what I'd like to hope. You know what I'm saying? So, what I want to do is I actually want to build a brand new AC from scratch. Or I'll just copy some of my old designs. Let me load up Raven 2. Um, yeah, I'm going to load up Raven 2 right now. And uh, I'm just going to make some changes to this. Because what I want to do is I want to show you how to beat uh, the very first stage in uh, Chapter 3, uh, Grid 86. Hmm. Let me see. What should I use? I like the laser blade. But also like... Okay, let me see. Which one is this? This one's good. It's strong. Where's the other one? Uh, yeah, in general, melee weapons are fucking amazing in this game. And so I love a melee build. Love them. All my, if you noticed, all my damn designs that I have are melee builds of some kind. You know? And so... That's what I gravitate towards first. So, what I'm doing is I'm using a build that, uh, hmm, Curtis is not a bad idea. I'll use the Curtis, yeah. And then, in this part of the game, you may not have that weapon yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just the regular rockets if I can. I'm overburdened. How much am I over? Bruh. I have like, alright. I gotta probably change this head. I can change it to so much shit. I'll just change it to that. Okay. And then of course I got this fast ass booster. You probably won't have this uh, AC as of yet, but basically the tracking on it is bananas. They can't escape. Worth a damn. And I have the Hokushi, though I will say that these motherfuckers here, these shits are the bomb. And I could actually just change it to this. I might do that to be to be honest. Because I'll be faster and I'll have better recovery. Fuck it, I'll do that. Alright. I don't even know how good this will be, but against that boss, I think I can do some shit. Uh, let me paint this real quick. Nah, fuck it. I like the paint. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him over here. Alright. So, let's go to grid 86. Because that's the latest video that I saw you play. So, when you're building your AC, 
you got to try to, you know, pick things that suit your style, but you want to pick stuff that's effective as well. You know what I mean? Also, on this particular stage, you do not need to engage all these goddamn enemies. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go around just like this here. Fuck y'all. I don't care nothing about y'all. You do not have to engage with all those enemies up there. Now, some of them are going to shoot missiles at you, so I'm going to clap that bitch. Clap that bitch. But I picked this rifle because the charge shots is kind of bananas, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so now we got old oh boy. What the fuck? Oh, the rockets got me. Shit. I didn't want to do that. Let me shoot this rocket. This is a new build for me. I've never tried this. I'm experimenting live and direct. You're dead. And you're done. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I didn't do as good as I wanted to do, but I did all right. Let me reload. This particular build is for the boss at the end, not necessarily for the enemies that are on the stage. Bitch. Alright. But this sword is going to be good in this region right here. Just clear the motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? And then I can go up here. Now, there's a bunch of enemies that you can fight. Like, there's, like, tetrapods and shit and other uh, builds and whatnot. But you don't need to engage every enemy. It is not necessary to engage every single enemy in this game. Also... When you have this hard lock on right here, you don't need to press the right stick ever after you hard lock somebody. You can just let it rock. Boom. Oh, I thought it was going to pop his ass. Dead. Dead. Yeah, you get this rifle, I believe, from doing some of the tutor tutorials. This rifle's good as a motherfucker. Cause it got buffed. Punk, don't don't you try me. Oh, one thing I should have mentioned. Shit, how do I look at my system? I can't. Never mind. So there is a perk that allows you to switch your weapons like this. This perk is indispensable. You know what I'm saying? And you get that from fighting in the arena. I should have mentioned that first. So I apologize for neglecting that. Oh, what the fuck? Someone shot me? Shut up. And again, there's all kind of secrets to this boss, but I ain't trying to get, get into all that. Hell nah. I'm avoiding like half of the damn enemies on this stage. Probably more than that, to be honest. But you don't need to fight all of them in order to get an S rank on this mission. Because every time you fight some enemies, you run the risk of damaging yourself, you know? And why do that? Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm riding up here because when you engage with these enemies directly, you see these drums? They drop down. So, what I'm going to do is shoot one of these hoes. Make them get to shooting, and then look what, look what happens. It drops. Now, I can focus on this one lone tetrapod up here. Oh shit. Let me heal real quick. Now, you don't want to shoot this fool head on. You want to dodge around him and shit. I'm going to 
just a regular slice. That bitch. Do you, did you see what I did there? So the idea was to use my gun, rocket, and normal slice to break the boy's stamina. And then when it's broken, boom! I do the Mike Tyson knockout punch. That knockout punch is a goddamn hack. You understand me? So I'm going to resupply real quick. Now, I'm hoping I don't make myself look like an asshole and lose to this boss mad times, but I'm going to try my best. So with this motherfucker here, I find that it's better to sort of keep a distance and be in flight. And what I like about this gun is you can do the charge shot and uh, avoid a lot of his bullshit. I'm not really doing too much though. There I go. That's what I need right there. Shit. Okay. Yeah, when he gets ready to shoot, you gotta get the hell away from him. Stay your ass off the ground. Oh, shit. Dodge this fool. Get him underneath. Okay. Because your air mobility is going to uh, serve you well against him. Yeah, I don't. I didn't know if this sword would be any good versus him. I don't think it is. <laughs> I mean, it's, it seems to be okay, but. You're better off using some sort of shotgun or explosive or something like that. I was hoping that I could, like, get under here and just, like, slice. But as you can see, it kind of whiffs. So, I don't know about that. Shit. Now, let me see what happens if I, like, target him in the front. Shit. What is that boy doing? He's doing some other shit. Okay, you can attack him from the front if you want to. Not that I recommend that. Yeah, I recommend doing your damage up here. Oh, shit. Now, this is not my prototypical build for, for a boss like this. Oh, shit. Let me go ahead and heal. Thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you just sort of stay above the fray. Shoot directly down into the tank. And I actually recommend using a dual weapon. So maybe you have two of these Curtis's rifles. You know what I'm saying? And you shoot down into it like like what I'm doing. Oh my god, fuck. That way you can like break his stamina and shit. Come on, bitch. Yo. Cause you wanna shoot directly into it. Okay. Now we talking. Yeah, bitch. I don't know if that worked or not. Mm. Smash that bitch. There we go. You see? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. Now this is taking longer than I anticipated. Because I don't use, I'm not using my typical stuff. I actually recommend shotguns 
for him. Oh shit. <laughs> I ain't know I was gonna get hit like that. See, I'm out here looking like an asshole. Telling people how to play, but I'm out here dying and shit. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use weapons that you would have early on in the game. Of course, some of the weapons you get later are much better suited towards killing this motherfucker. But I think you see the idea. I hope this is an S. It might be, though. Yeah, mama. No shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see what I got. C? Yeah, I figure. But if you're beating this for the first time, that'd be the way to do it. Now, that's if you want to use a dual, uh, dual melee setup. Uh, let me do this. Let me see if I can get my S on this motherfucker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip two shotties. I like this for him. How much am I overburdened? Not by much. All I gotta do is change one thing. Let me see what happens if I change the heads. Okay, see, this head right here would let me equip this build. I like this build because, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hmm. That's some scanning shit. System recovery. Eh, I could use that. But I'm not gonna I wouldn't have access to that early on. See, by this point in the game, you'll probably have most of these pieces. Maybe not all of them, but you'll have a lot of them. And honestly, let me do this. Let me switch these motherfuckers for this shit here. Yeah. Now that's that's buffing my armor and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this will kill the motherfucker real good. All right, let's go back and do that again because I'm not satisfied with that run. I'm not satisfied with the time I took. Honestly, hold on. Before I do that shit, hold on. Let me change these rockets because I wasn't feeling them shits. Let me do this. Where's the vertical shits? What is this? Nah, that's a split. Oh, this the joint. Okay, this the vertical shit. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Because what my hope is... But that may not happen because of the goddamn ceiling. Shit, never mind. Let me change that back. I'm gonna change it back. Now, if we were outside, these missiles would fall directly on top of dude. But this might work, though. Let me see, what's... Yeah, I could just shoot that and then boom, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we'll do that. Because I can actually use that shit. Attack power. Impact. Hmm. That might not be bad either. Fuck it, I'll do that. Alright. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, I wasn't satisfied with my performance here. So I'm going to do better. I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I ain't in, I'm barely engaging no enemies. I'm just going to do what I learned to do. I am not engaging with shit. I guess I can assault boost. I tend to be very stingy with my energy, so I don't like assault boosting that much. But it's a good habit, good practice to do. All right. Come on, bitch. Goodbye. That's how you kill Mad Stomp. 
Yeah, this is going better already. <laughs> Mad Stomp ain't shit. Your mama. Yeah, let's. Don't play with me. Yeah, dual shotties might be the bane of people playing PvP, but they absolutely do wonders for bosses. Bitch, don't play with me. The Zimmermans are fucking bananas. Don't play with me. Your mama. And then that punch. <laughs> that shit is no bullshit, man. Stop. Stop. This is what I should have used before. Yeah, this build is actually perfect for this mission. <laughs> Hell nah, you can't fuck with me. You're goddamn right. Alright, so once again, I'm going to be on the skyline. I'm going to target one of them, several of them, and shoot. Wait for them to be like, oh no, what the hell? Start shooting shit, and then the fireworks going to drop. Alright, so now I can just focus on his mark ass. Yeah, when you fight these... Bitch, don't play with me. So, the idea is simple. When you break their stamina, switch to this, hold L2, party time. You dig what I'm saying? Destroys, destroys. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, move, 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 move. All right. Yeah, 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 we know what time it is. All right, I need to get back to whooping this motherfucker over here. <laughs> yeah. So I hope that, you know, I'm sort of demonstrating how to go about attacking this fool. Boom. Oh yeah, that's way better. That's way better, look at this. Boom. Oh shit. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Look at that, oh yes. All right. Oh yeah, that was perfect. Shit, watch out. You fly up. Back up a little bit. Be like, oh. Did I get him? No, I didn't yet. All right. Let me see if I can do what I gotta do. Bitch! Let's go get this money. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, the industry can hate me. Fuck up all day, mama. <laughs> yeah. Hi, babe. I'm still recording, but hi. <laughs> Gotta say hi to the wife, you know. That's my baby. Yeah, so this build is fire as a motherfucker. That's an S. I don't give a damn what you say. Yeah, you see that? West side. Now, I'll show one more. 
not with this, uh, not on that stage. I want to go to the stage before it. Watch point. <laughs> when I first started playing this game, this was the stage that had everybody fucked up. All the new players were quitting the game because of this particular boss, Balteus. And he actually got nerfed twice because of it. And uh, I was getting folded my damn self. I got folded, 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 folded. I tried all kind of different shit. I tried tank builds. I tried the bunny hopping builds. I tried all kind of shit. But I was approaching it wrong. Because I didn't realize how important it was to break stamina. If you can break motherfucker's stamina, <laughs> it is it is game changing. So notice I'm not going to engage with these fools directly. I'm just going to blast that out the way. And now I'm going to go to the other gun so that I don't get destroyed. Because you got two big guns over here. I'm just going to. Oh, knock them out. Alright. And then, for these other baby bosses, I'm going to shoot y'all. They're not bosses, but, you know, these grunt enemies over here. Shut up. Use my scenery to fold them. Goodbye. Now, when I first did this, I used to go to that little checkpoint, but I realized that, uh, hell nah, I actually saw this in a video, there's a secret if you fly up here, you know what I'm saying, and notice you can get to the other part of this map where you see those two big automated laser guns, you can get, take them fools out before they even become an issue blast <laughs> blast <laughs> your mama your mama <laughs> hi babe yeah yeah, so I barely took any damage. Now I'm about to fold Sula. Sula's fun. He's fun. But I'm going to skip the dialogue. I think it's interesting that he's like country and shit. Now I like to come over here where I have a little bit of space. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> yeah, so when you break their stamina, it's Mike Tyson punch out time. You dig what I'm saying? You're damn right I did. Mm-hmm. I really don't even need to get the supply Sherpa, but since it's here, I may as well, right? Let me just look at this little cutscene because I'm about to skip all the rest of them. <laughs> Plus, it reminds me of Arkham Knight. Yeah, so we about to go over here now. Punch! And then... Falcon Punch! You feel me? We got any other Super Smash Brothers fans up in here? <laughs> Let me sip this goddamn water. Alright. Alright, let's get it. Boom! Bitch, don't play with me. Do not play with me. This is actually a really fun build to use against this motherfucker here. Oh shit! I already got him to half health. 
Now I'm going to fly up to try to dodge that. Wait for him to go underneath. Oh shit. Ooh, I almost got burned. Shoot that shit. Hurry up. Blast! Oh shit. Nah, damn it. I messed up right there. Oh, jump! Because he was going to try to get me. He's going to try to get me again. Okay. Oh, you about dead. Boom. Play with me. But you see how easy it is? Like, Balteus is light work. Light work. Fucking light work. Once you understand how to play the game. And when you put your right build together, you can steamroll these motherfuckers. You can steamroll anybody once you get your build right. And that's an S. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I hope y'all learned something. Um, take some inspiration. Copy the build if you want. Modify it. Do what you got to do. I just hope that I was able to help. I'll catch y'all later. One.